Hello, I'm Grady Edwards, a digital integration specialist with Horry County Schools. Today we will be exploring Hippo Video. Hippo Video is a web-based program and it is also a Chrome extension that can be used for screencasting, video recording, video editing, and quite a few other things. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by quick clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback or check out related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with Hippo Video. Um, before we get too far, I just want to uh, remind you that each of you, whether you're a teacher or a student watching this tutorial, you should have a premium account with Hippo Video through your Horry County Schools email address. If you have any, if you have any problems uh, accessing your, uh, e or your email or your premium account, please see um, Grady Edwards, that's me doing this video, at gedwards at oricountyschools.net, and I would be more than happy to uh, assist you with your anything with your account information. I am the HIPAA video contact. So please contact me if you have any issues. Okay, first thing I'd like you to take a look at, up here in the right-hand corner, you see that I do have the Hippo Video uh, Chrome extension installed as well. So it might be something, like I said, it's quick and easy, nice little feature there that you can uh, have it within your Chrome uh, browser as well. So for many devices, as long as you're in Chrome, you'll have access to Hippo Video. But I'll go ahead, just for the sake of time, and use the um, web-based version right here. I'll turn off the webcam just for the sake of this video. I can adjust my um, audio and resolution settings. I like the way they are. I think 720 is standard. I think that's good. Uh, and I have it set, make sure you have it set to your external microphone. I would recommend if you're big into screencasting uh, or just recording any type of uh, digital audio that you do get a external microphone. It makes the audio sound uh, a lot better. All right, so I'll hide options and I'll hit record. And I can choose to record the entire screen or just my application window. Just for this, I'll hit share. Okay, and now it, Hippo Video is recording my, um, after it counts down, it is recording my uh, entire screen. So I'm, I'm creating a screencast with Hippo Video. The cool thing, if you have the uh, Chrome extension installed as well, it gives you a little countdown up here. So it's a little way that you can time yourself and see how long your video uh, is actually going. Couple options down here to highlight. We have the pause, which is which is handy if you got to stop your screencast for any uh, any number of reasons. You can hit this pause button. This will stop your video. This will end your video and turn that into a video file. So we won't hit that just yet. I like this animation feature. So if I'm talking about something, I have the option to animate it. All right, I can say, "Hey kids, I need you to look over here at the plus." All right, and I can highlight that area. I also have the option to draw, make some annotations that way. If I want to say screen capture and more, I can go underline here and in real time it'll underline it for me. I can also use the focus button. If I want my students to focus in on their sign-in account, I can do so uh, by clicking that focus button. All right, so utilize those, those annotation tools, pretty cool stuff. All right, and if I need to, I can erase um, what I have up here. All right. So we'll go to, and I can also just, just clear the entire screen of any, any marks if I want to do that uh, there as well. So utilize these tools. These are pretty cool annotation tools that come along with Hippo Video. Let's say I'm done with the video. Uh, I like my screencast. I'm going to hit stop. And Hippo Video will automatically, your video URL is copied to your clipboard, and I can edit and share now if I choose to. So if I like it, check out how cool this is. I can go straight down here to share. I can throw it in my Google Classroom, or I can just send it straight to my Google Drive. Hippo Video is really good about that. They created that feature um, for us since that was a feature we liked on some other screencasting uh, programs. And we can throw it right into our drive if we want to, or we can share um, the link like your video if you want to do some editing you certainly have those those editing options here we can go to edit video all right now I like this and I think this this is more than just uh, what some of the screen captures screencasters offer I think this is what makes Hippo video pretty cool we can clip our video we can clip and trim our video so if we don't need it quite as long or if we want just a certain portion we can do that uh, there and then play it all right and it'll show kind of what that, what that looks like. We can also crop, so if we don't like the, um, the dimensions of our screencast, we can change that with the crop feature. So we can, like I said, resize that there. The text, this is pretty cool. We can determine uh, when and where certain textual items pop up. So let's just say for the sake of this, I'll hit text, I'll hit enter, 
and the text can pop up and it will set when it starts, so when that text will pop up and when that text will go away. So that's another cool little feature there um, as well that you can have textual annotations. You can change obviously the, the, the font, the size, the color, all that. You can add in certain emojis. So if we want to add in the, uh, I don't know, it's raining today, so we'll add in the um, umbrella. You can add those in there as well, and then just like with the text, you can you can start and stop when you want those 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 features um, in there. So take a look at that. You can use callouts. All right, these are great features that follow the signaling principle. So if you want to, you know, if kids want to pay attention to, hey kids, take a look at that sign out feature up here. You could set that to go here. Edit the text. Sign in feature. Hit enter. There you go. So like I said, this can pop up. Uh, on the screen when the kids are looking at it in real time. Blur, um, you can blur certain sections of the video so kids can focus in on, on one portion or the other. Uh, or even you can choose to um, resize. Um, like I said earlier, that's, that's an option there uh, as well. So we'll just hit save. All right. So now when we play our video, if you check out what happens, all right, certain Things should pop up. Yep, yep. Certain items uh, have now popped up. And again, you can play around with when those are set, what those look like, but those will be, again, added to your video. So there's a, quite a few ways to add annotations to your vid video to really kind of uh, adhere to the signaling principle and to get your kids looking in the right direction on the screencast. Okay, let me take you back to the uh, home screen just to, just to showcase something here for you. Um, you can go over here to the right hand side and see my videos and you can pull up any of the videos that you've already uh, worked on or you've been working on and you can edit those at any time. So that's a pretty cool feature. Uh, and you can also, you see I've exported this here, you can just download the video file straight to your computer uh, if you choose to. But again, with it being so accessible to Google Drive, I would just send my video uh, straight to Google Drive. Okay, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this kind of brief overview of what uh, Hippo Video is capable of. I hope to get a, a tutorial out uh, in the near future about some of the things you can do in regards to actual uh, video editing and importing uh, videos to Hippo Video. Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure to check out some of our other uh, videos on our GIST tutorial webpage. And thanks again. Bye-bye.